No drone, no drone shots? What the f***? No, oh, f*** off. I don't have time for your bull Another late night, another late night, homie. Oh, for f***ing sakes, kid. Carson, today! There it is, I found it. Hey, check it out, it's right here. Yeah. I hope our video doesn't get flagged for dangerous content. Now we can flop that John. Emergency. Customer complaint, the track won't stay tight. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see if we can move this. We're gonna try to, try to move. It's pretty steep here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get it out. Uh, and then the other thing we gotta do is reseal that stick cylinder on the 200. We might do that first so that we have a machine we can use on this one. Oh, high idle, jeepers. Yeah, I think that's as far as we're gonna get it. I don't wanna take the whole hillside down with me. There we go. Hey, I found the idler. <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna go work on the 200 first because I wanna have a second machine here to, to help us pull the tracks because I don't wanna get my truck too close. Let's see what we can do with this situation. Let's, uh, let's get that cylinder resealed. Then we'll make a plan on that. This is, it's all about speed, speed metal. Safety comes last. Another late night, another late night, homie. We're resealing our six cylinder first. Oh, retract it, retract it. I don't like these impacts anymore, man. They're super laggy. Oh, for sakes, why would you let that happen? I can't, let, uh, fuck off. Hand me the other one, it's way better. Like I'm trying to just like tap it so that it doesn't go fucking ham fist. And it's like, it doesn't do anything when it's got a load. Man, everything's so slick. It's like there's oil all over it or something. I'm just trying to tap, tap, tippy tap, tippy tap it. <laughs> the deers don't have an easy way to relieve hydraulic pressure. If you've ever worked on the deer stuff, you'd know that. There is a way to do it, but it's like a whole f rigmarole in there. And before you say, oh, I just cracked the tank. Well, that's not tank pressure. It was a little weep, just very sudden. <laughs> not a lot of oil came out. No, it was just a good spread. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. I'm gonna be a full battery. Yeah. There's not one on the charger because I never put them on the charger. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, for f sakes. What did you do? The f Why does my horn sound stupid? It sounds like a Civic. Everyone needs an apprentice. Oh, did you get your camera? <laughs> sake, shit. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Milwaukee's fucking garbage. What a fucking garbage impact. I don't have time for your bull. <laughs> okay, we'll just do them by hand because I don't want to. I don't want to them up too much here. And I'm pretty friggin' strong. So the 14 didn't fit because it's too fat. Yeah, yeah it's too fat. Too thick, boy. It's got too much girth, it doesn't fit. Problem I'm all too familiar with. I don't know, when in doubt, hand it out. Let's watch, don't hit your elbow. Don't be an idiot. That's all my body weight. Get more weight, get more gravity in you. Like easy as cheese, like cottage cheese, like Swiss rolls. Mm. Brandon knows what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Swiss rolls? Remember hemlock? You like having Swiss rolls on a hot day? Nothing like a Swiss roll on a hot day. A cold Swiss roll on a hot day. Like my stupid <laughs> dumb <laughs> Milwaukee won't break these and I'm doing them with this little micro bar. Something that's dumb, it wasn't me. What a surprise. You wanna grab it again? Impact? Yeah, I'll give it another shot. I'll give it a second chance. I'm all about second chances in the drawer. Oh, put it back. I was so I was so done with it. 
I was so, so done with it. Okay, yeah. give her another shot. Give her another shot. Give her another shot. Actually, she's grabbed me the ratchet, the big ratchet that you lost, remember? I didn't, I never lost that though. Cause it looks like it's back in this drawer. Carson lost this. Now it's back, but he lost it. That's all that matters is he <laughs> lost it. And then I lost it on him. <laughs> Uh, why is there so much grease all over this thing? Wanna grab me the red uh, bag of rags? Yeah. Bangarang? Bangarang, right, Josh? I don't know. Yeah, I gotta dig them out. Here's a rag in the meantime. See that catch? Stellar as f I don't know where those rags went. The red ones? Aren't they in the very back? I was just looking in there. I didn't see them. I'm like where all your pile of always is with all your rain gear that you never clean up. Crab fishing by... Come on, crab fisherman. We got the rags. I found the rags, you guys. They were right where Cam said they were. <laughs> While I'm doing this, you can start getting that track back on, okay? <laughs> okay, like I know you couldn't do that. Here, these ones you don't need body weight for. Even you could crack these. Oh, they're all done, never mind. It's too fast. Um, you just like to set yourself up. That's right. So much shit. So much shit on the go. All this stuff. Where's that extension? You didn't grab that at the same time, hey? No, it's right here. No, grab to make five trips back and forth for two tools. <laughs> People probably think I'm such a dick. It's only because I am. Carson said I'm a big softie. You know what that means. <laughs> I am a big softie or a... Never. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, you can't come up here, man. Active construction site, bro. Wait, is he trying to come up here? They always f***ing do that. Like, you think because they live here and they own property, they can do whatever they... Okay. <laughs> Don't fall and die, please. Can't save everybody tonight. Oh, what the f***? I must have missed one. Carson, please get this one for me. I'm too tired. Here. Let's see if you can do one. Can you do one? You don't even need to be heavy for this one. You need to just push up. You just need to be strong. Let's see him do it. Use those legs. Use those fat boy legs. Don't fall. Look at that, you did one. Yeah. That was pretty good. You got problems? I feel bad for you, son. You, you, weigh, you weigh 99 pounds, I weigh 201. Ah, 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 ah. Do you actually weigh 201? Do you actually weigh 99? No, 120. Huh. <laughs> Don't confirm it, dude. <laughs> Can't worry. Cam knows how much I weigh. He just likes to know again. I just, he just wants more material to make fun of me for. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Don't, don't. We gotta catch all this oil as it comes out. Oil? Oil. He likes to think he's cool, but he's not. Who? You. I am cool. Okay. So cool you don't wear a seatbelt. Is that a thing? Leave it in the comments. Do you wear a seatbelt or not? I was stuck behind the sling there. I don't care. Is it loose? Yeah, it's loose. Okay. Put everything over on the bench of the truck. You want that on the bench of the truck? You want that? Seat? No, this doesn't include everything. Yes, it does. I'll take what I need here. I'm hoping it just separates there nice and easy and uh, oil comes pissing out into my bucket. Actually, Carson, I'll keep this because if it comes out and I need to close it, I can zip it up with that. Brandon's standing in the splash zone. Dude, it's all about the splash zone. I'm all about the splash zone. Carson doesn't know shit. don't worry about it. I'm kidding, yeah, you probably are though. They really should be wearing safety glasses when they're doing that. I was, I just, they weren't on my eyes yet. And we'll actually, we'll crack loose the, the top line. Cause I think it's actually about to, it's about to come, it's about to come out. It's gonna be messy, so watch out.
Hey Cam, here's the big softy. Big, big softy boy. What the f is a circle under there gonna do? Huh, whatever, don't even worry about it. I just figured if it spills all on the ground, that's not gonna It's gonna run down the boom and actually run down to the bucket. Put one on the boom, like on the stick here. Jam it up in there. Like that. You gotta think like fluid, think like oil. You're, you are greasy. Put our squints on again. Hopefully slowly. Okay, Carson, where the f are you? Hey, come here. Oh, for f sakes, kid. Carson, today. Come on. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh, for f sakes. Oop walks away here you want me to put this down here no i want you to, never mind just grab the pan piss break kid here just help me bring it down set it here what? i thought you were right there and i was like hey come grab this pail you left it's okay Do you hear me? i was like i'm taking a piss no i oh, didn't I, I was like, i'm taking a piss you're like yelling me I'm like well, Carson, I, can't really just... I thought you were on the other just on the other side of the truck no, it's my bad. I should have should have anticipated that you'd be taking a f piss break at the at the most critical time. <laughs> it's yellow. It's Enviro stuff. It's biodegradable. I learned that the hard way one time. It was in a shop, luckily, so it wasn't as big of a deal. But we had it extended, and then when we cracked the gland, all that oil in the barrel end it's like tr triple the amount of oil, and it just pushes everything. Everything as soon as it lets go, it's just you get that whole barrel full of oil. So what you do is you bring the rod in instead because the rod is going to displace all that oil inside and it's like, well, you saw it was barely a pan full, but well, we also drained it. We drained as much as we could out of this port first and then we drained the rest out of the barrel. So we got most of the oil out of there. It probably would have been a full pan if we didn't drain it first from there. But I was yelling at you because I was like, oh, f I think it actually might overfill. <laughs> what the f***? You piss when I tell you you can piss, okay? <laughs> From now on, you don't go unless I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, kidding, I'm kidding. We'll just re-rig this so that we can grab it in the middle. We can't really take off all the straps and risk having the whole thing. Not, not that it would, it might. I'm not about to take that risk, John. I'm just kidding. John would probably tell me, don't do that. Do it that way, like I'm doing it, right? Because John knows. John knows how to do this. He want, hey, he asked for a cylinder rebuild, didn't he? You know, he wanted to see a cylinder cylinder reseal. Here you go, John. My biggest fan. Oh, oh. Grab the ladder. Oh, oh. Are you enjoying that? No, are you? You're enjoying watching? Of course you are. What the f are you doing? Where are you going? You want it doesn't the ladder, need. Don't you? Yeah, because there's tons of room over here for the ladder. You want to go over this side? Well, it's just it's just as easy to do it from this side as that side. Fucking apprentices sometimes. Okay, go down on the winch. Up. Up, up, up. That that view though. Ooh, actually that view though. It's actually a sick picture. You like that? You like that? Are you jealous? You want to be covered in oil? Come hang out with me. Oil you up. Hang out together. Do some jobby jobs. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handsy. <laughs> what? I can't say I've ever heard that. Oh, you want to grab the tiny straps? The little red ones? Two of them. Yeah. There's like really short ones, like two footers. Those are actually the wrong ones. I said two footers, you grab the three footers. Is actually three foot? Yeah, but I don't have two footers, so throw one through. So you're just setting me up for failure. That's what I do. <laughs> Gravity, help me. This is why I said grab the two footer. Do you actually have a short one? I don't one? have any short. Those, don't you use short yellow ones or no? Excuse me? Hey, excuse you, I'm right here. <laughs> Brandon's right there, you piece of shit. Don't you have a short yellow one? <laughs> what if it had a great personality? You really do, it's, it's okay. He does, I don't, I'm a piece of <laughs> I'm gonna 
Over. There we go. Dude, that's sick view back there. That's cool. I'm working. <laughs> that's a sick view, bro. Uh, we're kind of fighting ourselves here. Now we're pulling down a bit too much. <laughs> and don't say use compressed air. Just use a little compressed air on there. Yeah, unless you want to see a rocket launch out. Don't do that, actually, don't do that. You know, 150 PSI of shop air behind it. Yeah, it's not hydraulic pressure, but that's all it takes to move that cylinder, really. 150 PSI in the base of that, that's a lot of force. So don't, I mean, go ahead, use shop air if it's what you're doing, but I haven't had the best experiences with it, so I won't be doing that. <laughs> as soon as you get it into that little sweet spot, it just slides another inch, and that's all I'm doing. So I just need to balance that, uh, like as soon as it comes square, then it goes. Oh, oh, it's coming out. Just be ready to catch a little bit of oil there. That's pretty, pretty anticlimactic there. Okay, that's not super balanced, but enough that I can hold it here. Back to the back of the truck here. There, our sliding scale. <laughs> Balanced. Oh. What do you see there? Clean it, send it, yep. away we go. Gland reseal in the field. Love field daddy. Now, now we cinch this down and this should hold it. <laughs> it fell for it too. You stupid I'm just kidding. <laughs> Grab a block of wood. Grab the ladder. Oh, thanks, camera guy. Sir, what was your name again? Mmm, baby girl. Mmm. 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 It's cold. I'm wearing shorts underneath. It's not cold. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know cold. I used to work in minus forty. Ha <laughs> ha. Every Albertan ever. <laughs> every Albertan. Every pipeliner. Pipeline guy. You seal. Now I'm stuck because this door. Whatever. What happened here? Why what? is this? Why is this all stuck? Oh, because I tightened the vice. That's why. I'm like, what the? F why can't I get the ladder out now? Oh, but it it doesn't really fit over this. They say. Want to grab me that seal spoon? You can tell somebody's resealed this. Maybe multiple times. Who knows? Just go slow. F you. I need this ladder out of the way, but here, put it like that. There, problem solved. Think outside the box. What's that? That socket? Oh, oh, oh is that what was pushing the door? The door? Yeah. Stupid manual outriggers. What kind of poverty guy doesn't even have hydraulic outriggers? Shut up. Pick that up, pick that up, sorry. I've got butt hair fingers right now. Butt, butter, butter fingers right now. Why does people keep coming through here like it's a motocross track. Go away. Go away. You don't you don't own this place. Sometimes these Teflon seals, like if it was too hard to stretch over something, sometimes I heat them. Ideally, you'd use like a little deep fryer or something like a, yeah, you like get some oil and heat it up, make a little oil bath and you know, like a little deep fryer or like one of those slow, slow cookers. I think work really good for that. Deep fried seals. <laughs> Yum, deep fried seal is my favorite. Do you have a brake clean on my phone? Dude, uh, wreck it. To get rid of all the oil. Is this like a joke because we're on camera or like, I'm just gonna heat this seal, get it back into shape a little better. Once that goes into the, into the end of the bore too, everything kind of holds that in place. But, uh, cause we stretched it, had to stretch it a little bit. I just don't want that seal to get stuck as we're installing it. Cause that's probably, I'm guessing that's probably what happened when somebody resealed this the first time. That seal probably got sliced cause you could see it was all extruded. Maybe not, but it looks like this thing was resealed not long ago and this doesn't have very high hours. So that's my guess. And this thing's been leaking like weeping for a long time. So I'm kind of thinking that it wasn't installed right the first time. 
That's all my. Is that as long as I it That's go? As long as she go. It's as long as she goes. I'll just take it off of this now. Let me just balance it. Stupid fucking vices. Does anyone else's vice just stick like fucking crazy? I just replaced that too, like last year. We still gotta get those tracks on, so let's get this back in place right quick, baby. Tracks on, bing bong. What the f are you doing? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, uh, the other thing I can do is get a hose clamp too, if we need to, we'll see. Oh, hand me a clean rag there, Joshua. Thanks, brother man. Thanks, brother man. Are you looking at daddy's shaft? Huh? Are you? Is that tight enough? Yeah, it's a little loose. It's tightened up a lot. Uh, if we have to, we can work it a little more too as we go in, but otherwise we'll just get her started. And uh, away we go. Off to the races. You know what else we can do real quick? Is slide this gland down to the end so that when we get it in, we don't have to put it all the way back. I can put it in myself, thank you. All right, you want to guide that in there? I thought you could put it in yourself. No. Now I need your help. <laughs> what? You got to spit on it. You got to spit on it. Oh, f you're right. Spit helps. That's like an old school mechanic trick, actually. Old school mechanics love spit, dude. They fucking spit on everything. I don't know what it is, and I'm not even, like, this isn't even jokes for the camera. This is like serious talk, dude. Okay, we're in. Yeah. So the gland up. Apprentices, the more you do without me asking, the happier we are, you know? Like if I don't have to ask you to do every single step, it makes your journeyman a lot happier. <laughs> I'm kidding, I was like that too, I was the same way. I had to be told every single thing. Um, <laughs> Uncle Schmegma, I'm just a sea hair too short. The big Dabla place. Big Dabla, lean on the f rod end there for a second. Me? Yeah, you. No, Brandon. Ready? Yeah. Okay. And we're on. The other day, Carson split his first machine. For all you at home, calling him lazy. I'm sticking up for you out here. I would never say that about you. My comments back was like, don't you ever say that to his face, just behind his back. 20 minutes and the sun went down, wow. Can't wait to do that job in the dark. This thing doesn't even have lights on it. Why is this impact such a piece of Wanna grab me a different battery? This one's garbage. Let's throw it in the trash. Okay. Pass. You took, you. That's not safe, you guys. What it do? What it is? Get her pinned, uh. Oh, she stuck, boy. It's not easy keeping the world turning. Oh, Lord. Yeah, just check the sight glass after we run it. Plus, we're, on, we're not in service position. All right, you fat piece of sh Lead your cylinder nice and slow. Your first time choking it, eh? First time choking it. We've never done a cylinder together before, so. Wow. You see it? You see this guy swing around? <laughs> Just kidding. You're a little top, 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 any top. Just need to. It's just a sea hair. Cows gunted. Uh, there we go. Bong. What do you think? Pretty good, hey? It's my kind of battery, I demand. <laughs> uh, done. Ooh, I whacked my face. Do you think I keep track of the hours of the day? All I know is there's 25 hours and I work all of them. 
kind of a show. You know, not a lot you can do, just adapt or die. Brandon, can you hear me? Brandon, where are you? Brandon, can you hear me? Is Josh gone? Joshua. Oh, I thought you were gone. All right, you ready to get yelled out a bunch? We're making big bucks today, boys. Oh. Oh, Carson, it's okay, it's just for the camera. I'm not actually mad, it's just for the camera, okay? <laughs> just remember that. I'm looking furious.